Dulwich Hamlet make their first trip to Arbour Park this afternoon for FA Cup second qualifying round action against Slough Town. Dulwich conceded a 94th minute goal at home to Hendon on Tuesday night to lose 1-0 to the Greens. They're looking for a spot in the third qualifying round for the first time in four years and bring in Ashley Carew and Sanchez Ming for Nathan Ferguson and Mohamedou Fahl. Slough are looking for back-to-back -back appearances in the third qualifying round and come into this game with seven consecutive wins. They make three changes from the side which beat Hitchin Town on Tuesday. So can the Hamlet end Slough's winning streak or will the Rebels end Dulwich's cup run for another year? Nairon Clunas has gone up front today with Sanchez Ming coming in on the wing. And it's Ashley Carew in for Nathan Ferguson in a like-for-like -like change in the number 10 role. They might be behind early on, Dulwich off the top of the bar and over. Brad Watkins it was who had the opportunity. And it's with Fraser now. Lynch. Mingo's crunching challenge on Togwell. Doesn't come away with the ball, it's George Wells instead. And by Watkins. Not a bad ball in. My players arriving at the far post. It was a dangerous cross by Brad Watkins. Wells has a throw. Look to go down the line here. Good distance on it. Hale's got the touch. It still comes for Lynch. On for Flood. First touch is good. Takes him away from Weatherstone. Cargbo coming across to try and help out his team. Cargbo with a slip there. Still Flood. Pulls it back. No one arriving. It will be retrieved by Matt Lynch. Not a bad ball in. Great header, Ricky Hales. Togwell, seen a lot of the ball so far. Keep things sticking over in midfield, it seems. Fraser again finds space. Harris trying to roll the ball past short. Fraser joins the attack, another deep ball in. Hales again, good header. Had to get a touch there. He's a good sweeper keeper as well, Jack Turner. Very good with the ball at his feet. Weatherstone lets it go. Does hook it away from Watkins. Beanie to DeMarca. Beanie one for Clunis to chase. It's not a bad ball by Kenny Beanie. Clunis, can he get past Fraser? Yes, he can. Clunis, saved by Turner. Dulwich's first chance of the game, and it's forced a save from Jack Turner. Made himself big right in front of Clunis. All the way back with Hales. Slough will have every man behind the ball for the time being. But Dulwich, it's good to see them actually getting on the ball and passing it round. Weatherstone now. Beanie. Cargo oh, sure wants it on the far side, come to Carew. Cargo this time goes to his right with Ming. Beanie back to Sanchez Ming. First time volley cross. Might drop for Tamarka. Is there a product for him? Clunis lays it off. Carew strikes. Lovely football from Dulwich, the best they've produced in this game so far. Final shot from Carew goes over the top though. For his second time. Headed that on. It's come for Shaw now from Cargbo's pass. Just stretch his legs, Fraser Shaw, in for Clunis. Turns nicely. Supports from Carew. Plants his long range shot again, Carew. Straight at turn up. This time on target from Carew, though. Easy for Cargbo. DeMarco, that's a great flick. Here goes Clunis as he got the legs on Fraser. Great defending from Fraser. Important. That he got there ahead of Clunis. Being the other way around, Clunis was one and one with Turner. Chambers. Hales, DeMarcus onside, well timed run. Is there a man in the middle for him? There was, it was Clunis. Won't quite reach Shaw, deflection off the Dulwich man. Fraser clears against him. To be. Ashley Carew in charge of delivering this. And placing Nathan Ferguson in the side today. And he come up with a good cross. It's not bad, you know. It's Hales, who was nearest to it. Scored last weekend, of course. DeMarco. up. So a second cross for Dulwich. Wells trying to slow him down. DeMarco has to use Cargbo. Helped on by Weatherstone. Chambers. Hale struck it. Goalwards. Come for DeMarca. And comfortable height his shot for Turner. Crew wasn't as far forward as he thought. Wells goes with a diagonal ball for Harris. It's a great ball in the end from the left back. Harris helps it on. Fraser just inside the area pulls it back across the uh, six-yard six yard box. 
Excellent drop for Lynch here. Does now. And struck off distance in the end by Togwell. Doing his wrong side of Nisbet there. That's helped on by Watkins for Flood. Weatherstone got there first and plays it out to Chambers. It's going to spin kindly for Flood. Now it's two on two. If you can find Watkins in the middle. In the end, can't get the better of Ricky Hales. Using all his know-how. That is number five. Does keep it in play. Excellent work on this near side. DeMarco back towards Clunis. Won't return the favour. DeMarco charges down that clearance and sends in the cross. As Ming arriving, shouts of handball. Would have been harsh. It was hit from point blank range. First free kick I can recall as well. Lenchu swings it in. Weatherstone nods it down. Shouts for a penalty. Chambers pokes away for a throw. It's only going to be one man. Chambers and DeMarco, as I say, they're disrupting the wall. Referee's happy. A lot of bodies to get it over Carew. He's capable. It's not too bad, you know. Just over the crossbar. Not far away from the top corner from Carew. There's a high boot on uh, Lynch there. Just making sure that uh, Matt Lynch is okay. Ming just trying to hook it away. Caught the uh, face of Lynch. Referee with a big decision at the end of the half. Ming, I don't think he was aware that Lynch was there. His back was to him. It is a red card. Well, it might be unfortunate. It was a high boot from Ming, but I don't think he was aware that Lynch was behind him. And Dulwich will have to play the rest of this game with 10 men. Need a big second half performance from Dulwich. Clunis, only one for Bachi Yardam to chase against Nisbet. And he's there first, just stumble, but will get hold of the ball. In for Clunis. Good save by the leg of Turner. Excellent stop. Clunis trying to roll in his near post. That would have been some start to the second half for the Hamlet. Crew delivers the corner, and in! Weatherstone! Great header from the centre back, and the 10 men take the lead. What a start to the second half. Thumping header. Dulwich are good from set pieces going forward. Flew like a rocket. Turner had no chance of keeping that out. It's Mark Weatherstone with his first of the season. In by Carew. Hammered home by the Dulwich number two. That puts the cat amongst the pigeons in this game. <laughs> Wells, in support is Simon Dunn. The runner is uh, Watkins. Togwell now has space. Do you fancy the shot? Yes, he does. Charged down by Beanie. They come for Harris. Lofts in the cross. Chambers with a good header. Might come for Togwell again. Will come for Harris. I think that deflected. It did. Edwards Clunis as well to get that on the bounce. Sends it for Boachi Yardem to chase. Is he in behind here? Wells gets half a touch. Boachi Yardem all on his own though. If he'd got that touch around the defender, that would have been a penalty with Wells going in like that. Slough just needs to calm things down a little bit. A lot of time on their hands still. Wells. That's a nice flip by Watkins and Dunn's the runner from midfield. Tries to chip Edwards. Delicate idea, but... The execution not quite there. Last touch came off the Dulwich number two, the goal scorer. Wells. Right footed ball in. He's done. What a save that is. Edwards gets down. He's pleased with himself. What an absolutely brilliant save by the Dulwich custodian. We've had a really good start to the second half from both sides. Short one's on, Togwell in space, Cargo's got to come across to him. Space again for Dunn. This time it's Weatherstone who diverts away. Slough ramping up the pressure already. Lynch delivers again. It's not cleared, it's come for Inns. Another deflection takes it wide. 
Lynch, another decent ball in. I think it was Cogbo gets away. Togwell fires it back and diverted on. And Watkins equalises. Really good, innovative header. Slough, since they've fallen behind, have been ramping up the pressure on Dulwich. And they weren't behind for long. The volley came in from Togwell. And it was diverted goalwards by Watkins. Real cup tie on our hands, third goal of the season, second in the FA Cup. Into the arms of Turner it goes. Dulwich needs to make the most of these set pieces in the second half. You get the feeling they won't create too much from open play. It's come for Watsi Yadam, Beanie. Watsi Yadam trying to get back onside and he'll give chase to this. Turner's come out, Watsi Yadam get there first. Turner does well, that was an awkward one for him had he not got there. To his left is Lynch. It's a delightful ball. Chambers again stretches well. Comes with Togwell. Poor shot in the end. Weatherstone, can he get a toe to it? Yes, he can. Comes out to Dunn. And deflects through to Edwards. Long delay over who's going to take this. Chris Floods running up to the ball. He leaves it for Wells. Blocked by Short. Oh, that's just off wide. Might have hit the outside of the post, you know. Really sweet connection. I think it was done. Not a bad ball in. Weatherstone had to get up. Goes over him. And it's surely going to be 2-1. Achieved by Nisbet. Togwell can stride towards the area. Drives it goalwards. Blocked by Carew. Weatherstone with enough of a touch to clear. Here goes Clunis. Dulles trying to counter-attack. They've got men up in this attack. Not for long, though. Watkins for Dunn. Slough enjoying the lion's share of possession in the second half, as you'd expect with a man extra. Wells looking for Flood as he peeled away from Chambers. Yes, he has. Knocks it down. Togwell, what a save! Met it sweetly, did Togwell, and Edwards responds by tipping his volley over the crossbar. In truth, he didn't have to move too far, the goalkeeper, but he still had to stick a hand up. So we've got a Training ground routine coming up. Lynch goes low in. Dunn got that. Hooks it over the crossbar. So one off the training grounds. Chambers. We'll keep Clunis interested, that long ball. Fraser nods away, but Shaw might get hold of it first. He does. Cross deflects towards Bachi Yadam. Could have fallen anywhere. Slough Town 1, Dulwich Hamlet 1. Sean, his weaker foot has volleyed that straight up in the air. Fraser heads downfield, only to Cargbo, experienced man. Dulles will need that. Dunn gets away from him, though. Furthest man forward, has support to his left in George Wells. Wells drives it goalwards. Well, can strike a good shot on him, but uh, that one doesn't trouble Edwards. Cargbo chips it towards Weatherstone. Hale's also interested. Might drop for Clunis. Does drop for Hales, is it? Not quite. It's done. Who gets it away? Inside with Beanie again. That's a great reverse ball. Here's Chambers. Not often seeing him in the opposition penalty area like that. Carew, Weatherstone goes in. Turn ups the punch. Includes gets to the second ball. No, he can't. This bit sends that one long. Again, Michael Chambers commanding well. Carew with the back heel trying to find Clunis. Nice idea. Not come off for him. It's Lynch. It's a decent ball in. Just needed Flood to get in front of Weatherstone there. Another yard. Might have nodded that pass, Edwards. Beanie. Drops for Wells. Togwell. Lynch. Man over for him. Goes for goal himself. Edwards seemed comfortable. Did have the run of Sean Fraser there if he wanted to go wide. Ends again, he's had a good game here, really, as we expected. Togwell. Cogbo, and here goes Clunis in behind. Can he get there first? Yes, he can. Clunis, this was 2-1, yes, he scored! Dulwich retake the lead! And it's Nyron Clunis. Well, they've been under the cost for a lot this second half. They found a second. And it's Clunis who puts it in the bottom corner. He's had a couple of chances already today. This one he scores. 
Cargbro with the ball over the top for him. Comes inside onto his stronger right foot and puts it right in the bottom corner. Said after the first goal, they won't go into their shell. They didn't. It was good pressure from Slough. Expect that again. Dulwich won't try and sit as deep as they can. Here's Flood. Dobson, first involvement. Wicked ball in, all the way through it goes. Just needed a touch in there. Really encouraging cross for a striker, just no one on the end of it. Done. Nisbet. Drops for Chris Flood. Dobson now has already put one good cross since coming on. And it's Togwell arriving! What a goal that is! And they equalise again! Had a couple of volleys in this half. One led to a goal, one was saved, and the third one is volley past Edwards. Four goals in this second half. And for a second time, it's the home side who level. They want to get on with the game as well. Dobson with the cross. Togwell arrived. Really classy volley. Little Edwards could have done with that. Lynch flicks that one on. Ferguson back to defend. Giving it straight to Flood though. Flood can cross. And Williams turns home. Off the bench and Slough lead for the first time today. It was Nathan Ferguson who just come on himself for Dulwich who gave it away. And Slough make him pay. Excellent ball in by Flood. Just needed a touch on it and Williams provided it. Watch the item. Ball got lost over his shoulder. Here is Dobson now. Williams calling for it. Has he got the legs on house? Decent ball in. Chambers easily could have put that past his goalkeeper. Well watched though by Edwards. Not even DeMarco, who's usually good in the air, could put him under any pressure. Weatherstone overhales this time again. It's Inns who gets the header in. Togwell better than Beanie. Williams only found Shaw with his pass. Nice dummy, gives him some time on the ball. Cargbo, it's going to go long again. This time it's towards Clunis. Last touch came off, Nara and Clunis, I think. Yep, goal kick. That might be that for Dulwich. Dunn gets a toe on that to Dobson. Anywhere will do for Slough. They'll send it as long as they want. And that will be the full-time whistle. Dulwich exits the FA Cup of the second qualifying round for the third year in a row. But it wasn't for the lack of trying today. They put in an excellent performance with 10 men in the second half. They led twice through Mark Weatherstone and Nairon Kunis, but unfortunately it wasn't to be with Slough pegging them back twice with goals from Brad Watkins and Lee Togwell before substitute Manny Williams ultimately scored the winner with six minutes to go. The contentious moment in this game was the red card to Sanchez Ming on the stroke of half-time. It was a, uh, a tough call for the referee. May well have just given him a yellow card on another day. Ming unsighted, high boot on uh, Matt Lynch, saw him dismiss. As I say, the referee on another day maybe would have given a yellow card. Dulwich gave it all in the second half. Backs against the wall jobs at times. And it's Slough Town who proceeds to the third qualifying round for the second year in a row. Final score at Arbor Park. Slough Town 3, Dulwich Hamlet 2. Gavin, ultimately, it's a feeling of disappointment today, but how much credit do the boys deserve for that second half performance in digging deep like that? They do, they deserve a lot of credit. Um, obviously, up against it, uh, they were a stronger team in the first half. Um, going out in the second half with 10 men was a uphill struggle, but I thought um, we showed the type of mentality that I thought was lacking in the first half, um, to fight, to sacrifice, to be unselfish. Um, that was what we gave in the second half, and that's what's required when you come to places like this. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, credit to them for the second half. Obviously, you took your chances. You weren't going to get too much in the second half. You must have felt that things were going to go your way. Yeah, you have days like that in football when, um, you know, the odds are against you, but you come away with it. But um, I think after every goal we scored, we didn't, you know, keep the lead for long enough periods. And obviously, as you know, uh, the frustration grows if they don't score straight away. But we always gave them... Um, that little hope they can get back in the game straight away. So <clears throat> they weren't they weren't panicked and they were able to to see the game out. 
I know you haven't seen it back yet, but you were obviously right in front of the incident at the end of the first half. What did you make of it? Yeah, it was a high, it was a high challenge, but he was he was going for the ball. Um, uh, I don't know what else you can really say. I don't think there was intent. Uh, that's not much you can say. It's down to interpretation. Um, I think their players did well in terms of getting the referee to to sort of think it was a red. Um, he didn't look like he was going for a red, but maybe he was. We don't know. That stage, it was pretty much an even first half as well. It must have been a really frustrating way to win the half. Yeah, of course. Um, at the start, they were the stronger team, and then we slowed them down a little bit and contained them, and looked like we would have been a threat on the break. Um, but then, uh, like you say, they, the sending off gives them back the ascendancy uh, mentally. Um, they might have switched off because of that as well. Uh, I thought the first goal from Mark was very good. His timing was good. The ball was good, and his timing was good. Um, to score and, and Niren and Ibby's pass was very good and Niren's um, taking his, his chance really well as well so it's unfortunate we couldn't hold on but I think the, uh, the odds are against us um, we're not <clears throat> we haven't really hit the ground running this season yet uh, in terms of a run of wins and uh, we need to, to find ways of getting wins even when we're not playing so well or we come up against opposition that are playing well we still need to get wins and once we get over that hurdle we'll, our season will probably start that mentality that we showed in the second half was very similar to that we saw in the FA Trophy last season. Going forward, that will hold the boys into good uh, good effect for the rest of the season. It will if they remember that it has to be done every week. Um, it's no good doing it after I've told maybe one or two of them a few home truths. Um, they need to be honest with themselves. If we're, uh, if we're looking to win the league or even be competitive in our league, we need to be honest with ourselves. Um, we need to you know, play to the level that's needed and required to win every week. Um, <clears throat> a little bit of honesty made a few of them play to the level that I thought they, they can play and I expect them to play um, and I was happy to see them react the way they did but we need that coming from them from the start they need to play with that sort of uh, mentality from the start um, you know there's a lot of faith and trust in them and we need them to go out and do that every week that's what they're here for um, that's the challenge